Hey guys, happy Friday. So today I've got my October empties to show you. So I've got all my trash here that I emptied out uh, during the month. So we've got quite a bit of stuff. Um, also, I think I'm pretty much just gonna start filming in front of the crib um, just because I don't, for some reason, I feel like the lighting is better over here versus where I usually film. Like, I love my leaf blanket background, but um, it's got too much white in it. And I feel like it, it messes with the lighting and stuff. And I just, I like the lighting here and I like seeing the crib and stuff. So anyways, uh, here's my trash. Let's go through it and see what I used up and what I thought about it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I want to cover in here is lotion. Um, I, I say this, I think I say this in like every video. If you didn't know, I'm pregnant. Um, and so I have been really, really, really trying to keep my stomach and just everything just moisturized so I can hopefully, you know, prevent uh, stretch marks. I know they say lotions. There's no like really evidence that shows that lotion is going to prevent stretch marks, but it just makes me feel better. It makes my skin feel softer and stuff whenever I use lotion, obviously. So I emptied out a lot of lotion this month. Now this doesn't mean that I used all of these full products during the month, but somehow I have a lot of lotion. Um, now this one, I think I did pretty much start using it at the beginning of the month. And I did use this whole thing during October. Um, this is from Human and Kind. This was a body souffle. It was basically just a, a body lotion. I got this in my last FabFitFun box. And this stuff was really awesome. It had a nice scent to it. Um, and it was very moisturizing. And I just, like I said, every night before I would go to bed, I was just making a habit of just, just slathering this all over myself so I emptied this out <laughs> um this one I did uh, finish up this month this is Bath and Body Works um pink cashmere I had had this lotion for quite a while and I finally like I said finished it up um I love this formula of Bath and Body Works lotion this is their 24 hour moisture ultra shea body cream the stuff is it's just so nice. I love it. I've went through so many bottles of this. This specific scent I didn't love. It really wasn't that strong of a scent, but I got this during one of like the semi-annual sales a while back and had just now uh, emptied it out. I did um, empty this out just last night. Um, this was a little sample size of Cella Creme de la Creme. This came in my Ipsy Ultimate. Um, and I use this as a body lotion. I only, since I use this little one ounce tube as a body lotion, I, this pro didn't even last me a week. Like I went through it pretty quick, but it did smell really nice. I enjoyed it. And then sadly I did use up a little Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. Um, this stuff is amazing. Smells great. Super moisturizing. This was awesome. So lots of lotion that I went through this month and then on top of that um, I'm also in between using lotions I would also use this some nights um, this is bio oil and this stuff is pretty pricey I think for the 6.7 ounce bottle I think it was 25 to 30 dollars something like that this is supposed to uh, help improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks or even just, you know, moisturize to help maybe prevent them. Um, it does say during pregnancy, apply from the start of the second trimester. But I've been using this bio oil pretty consistently, like since I found out I was pregnant just because. But I did finally empty out this big old bottle and I'm out now, so I need to buy some more. <laughs> it is very oily, um, so I prefer using a lotion, but because that stuff is, I mean, it's just a pure oil you're rubbing on yourself. But um, it's very good. Alright, so that's all my lotions that I used. Um, next, I have some face cleansers that I used up. This one, this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. Um, 
this actually uh rachel from things by the burke this was one of the little samples that she had sent me in my uh package that she sent me and i loved this this was a really nice cleanser um I, my skin was pretty happy when i used it so that was really nice also i had a couple of these little samples i decided to use them up this is from perfectly posh is the brand i don't even know i've never heard of that this is bright young thing this is a face wash so i had these little foil packet samples of it from an adore box from a while back and i was like i just need to use those up so i use these it's a very gentle kind of face wash um like i said i never heard of this brand but it was all right um, my skin didn't freak out from it so Along the skincare route, I did use up a few face moisturizers. This was a little sample of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I got this as an add-on for an Ipsy bag um, last month or something like that. And it was supposed to be for redness. If you guys didn't know, when I have my makeup off, I tend to have a lot of redness on my cheeks and on my nose area. Um, this was a really small sample. I got to use it for maybe a week. Um, and I honestly couldn't tell any difference with my redness, but, um, it was a nice moisturizer, but I just didn't notice any redness relief in the week that I got to use it. Um, the next two products are also things that Rachel sent me from Things by the Burke. This one, this is the Tatcha Water Cream, and Tatcha products are expensive, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure they are. But this was just a um like a water-based kind of moisturizer and i really liked this um it did have a rose scent to it but it didn't it didn't really bother me it wasn't super strong or anything but um this was a nice moisturizer i did enjoy it very very much i tend to gravitate toward these water-based moisturizers they just i don't know i feel like they soak into the skin well they don't feel greasy and so I just really tend to like those. Um, and then the other thing she had sent me was some Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This stuff is awesome. This is a lactic acid treatment. So I would just use it as a moisturizer. And I've used up a few of these samples before. And I love this product. It's very expensive. I've never had it in a full size or anything. But, um... I don't know i just like the way my skin feels and everything whenever i use it so i like it my skin has been pretty happy this month for the most part except for my redness that's just been around for a while don't really know how to fix that um looks like i did use this uh biore witch hazel nose nose strip um i love doing these little you know the little nose strips you put on let it dry and then you rip it off i love doing these because i always get excited to see like what's gonna be on it when i rip it off but every time i use these like nothing ever really comes out like I'm, i'll have like one or two little spots on the strip where i can see like a little you know a little something something that's pulled out but usually that's about it which i mean i guess that's good it means my skin is clean my pores are clean but um that was my experience using that one i did use uh i used a lip mask this is the packaging that it was in this was from i think this was a vermilion cosmetics is the brand i got this in my oh baby box i'll link that up here if you haven't seen that um it was a subscription box that i was that was sent to me um and it's actually dripping fluids but this was just a lip, one of those big old lip masks that you put on and wear for a little bit it's like a gel kind of thing um i actually did notice a little bit of difference right after taking it off my lips did feel not as chapped and maybe a little plumper or juicier but it didn't last very long so there was that um i did use one sheet mask this was in my Ipsy Ultimate as well. Um, this is from the same. This is a natural avocado sheet mask. I don't know. I couldn't really tell that it did anything. It was just a sheet mask. Um, I did use some of the Wander Beauty 
uh, baggage claim gold eye masks. I used one pair of those, just the little masks you put under your eyes. I can't ever tell anything when I, from whenever I used eye masks. I just use them like when I get them in boxes and stuff. But um, I don't know. I couldn't tell that they did anything for me, honestly. All right, a little bit of hair care here. I used up this Herbal Essences Birch Bark Extract Conditioner. Now, this was a, this is sulfate free, zero parabens, like a pretty natural type deodorant for getting it at Walmart, you know. Um, I actually really liked this. It smells really, really good. It smells like a men's cologne, which some people might not like that, but it has a very cologne-y kind of smell to it, and I liked it. Um, and my hair has seemed like very happy to me this month, so... I could see myself purchasing this again in the future. I liked it. Um, I also emptied out another of these whey um, leave-in conditioners. I've had a, a couple of these before and this stuff smells so good. I feel like everything from this whey brand just smells so lovely. I love it. Um, I love to use a leave-in conditioner. Basically, every time I wash my hair, I like to use something like this where I can just spritz it in the ends or, you know, something that I can just put on the ends of my hair just to give it a little bit more conditioning. Um, I just enjoy that kind of product. So this stuff is awesome. And next, this was kind of a miss for me. Um, this is a body wash. This is from the brand Bolero. This is a coconut and rose oil um, body wash. Uh, and I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. I got this like several months ago, like way back in the early summer. And I just saw it in Dollar Tree and I was like, that looks kind of like a fancy body wash for the Dollar Tree. I was like, for a dollar, I'm just going to try it out. So I did. It was a, it was an all right body wash. It wasn't horrible. It was very watery did not really have a strong scent at all um, and it didn't lather very well so kind of what you expect from a dollar store body wash um, but I used it up it was fine but pretty much a dollar value I mean you're getting what you pay for it's a dollar so I just wanted to try it <laughs> next I used up a little sample of native deodorant I think I've had one other sample of this before this is just a natural kind of deodorant and this was the coconut and vanilla scent it smells good but i don't like this kind of deodorant um or this brand it whenever i put it on it like balls up like the texture of it is kind of weird it balls up underneath my underarms and honestly the scent doesn't last very long for me so I don't know, I'm just not crazy about that. And then I've got a couple makeup products and that's it for October. Um, I did finish up the Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. So this was a primer, but um, it was a Prime Essence, which I really don't even know what that means. But um, this was a super, super liquidy, watery type primer that was my I think my only like dislike of this product was it was so liquidy like you had to be careful like I can't tell you how many times I'd be putting it on and I would have I would drip it on my face and it would end up getting on my clothes just because it was so wet and liquidous but um I did enjoy the way it felt on my skin it would just moisturize the skin really well before you put your makeup on so um I was using this pretty much daily and that's why it's empty I think this was in a boxy charm a couple months ago or so um and the very last I have this powder foundation this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless and I believe this is the second one of these I've went through now some of you guys might be mad. There's still some product on the edges there, but it's kind of hard for a brush to pick it up, really. I could, if I really wanted to, I could crush up the edges and like try to repress it, but this stuff is pretty cheap anyways. It's like five bucks or something like that for a pan of it 
or for a compact, whatever. Um, but I love this stuff. I've already repurchased it. Um, this is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, I love this stuff for days where I don't want to put on a full liquid foundation. Um, so when I use this, typically what I do is I get a concealer and I conceal under my eyes and I conceal my redness basically on my cheeks and my nose. And then if I've got any other spots, I conceal, blend that all out, and then I get this powder and go all over. And so that is what I've done today. Of course, I've got blush and other things on too, but I think it's got pretty good coverage like just for every day. Um, but I really enjoy it. It's cheap and I don't know. I just, I like this. I think you should try it if you haven't already. But um, I've actually been using this since, oh, the beginning of the summer is when I discovered this product. All right, so that was all my empties for October. Um, I felt like I did pretty good this month, emptied out a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys like these videos. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already because I post a brand new video every single Friday and other days sprinkled in between. But today's Friday, so it's brand new video day. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!